Welcome, I'm here with Katie Barris, the EVP of Purchase at Rocket Mortgage. Katie, it's such a pleasure to be here with you. How are you? I am wonderful, and thank you for having me. I'm very excited to be here as well. Absolutely. We're excited to give some tips to our audience, but also all the rest of our network that can use some of the tips that we're talking about for yes. first-time home buyers. Mm, so can you absolutely. kick us off? Talk about some of the top tips that you would have for some of these first-time home buyers. This is one of my favorite topics. Not just, I mean, I've been a first time home buyer before. I know that experience. I know the emotion that goes into making the decision to buy a home. And, and it is emotional, right? This oftentimes is not this very logical, well thought out decision. It's like, I think it's time. I have to do this now. So um, it's really important to be able to anchor to some best practices. So first and foremost, let's talk about the commitment that you're making when you buy a home. Now, most people might think I'm going to say, ah, you've got a 30-year mortgage, it's this 30-year thing. The reality is most people are staying in a home three, five, seven years, right? And so um, really the commitment that you're making is to the, the upkeep, the maintenance of that home. When you buy a home for the first time, uh, you're, you're not just buying a house, you're buying a lifestyle. So it's really important that a first-time home buyer does some research, has a good conversation with their mortgage professional, to understand what is going to be the cost of maintaining this home. I know in my house, I have at least six filters that need to be replaced on a regular basis. Uh, there's maintenance of your lawn, there's paint, there's, you're going to have an appliance that needs to be repaired inside of the first year. It's these little hidden costs of owning a home, that's what you need to be most prepared for. So speaking of cost, right? So let's talk about the next thing, um, savings. When you're, when you're preparing to buy a home, you want to be saving, not just for those maintenance costs of owning a home, but obviously there's a down payment. Sure. There's always a down payment. Now, what a lot of folks believe, and I'm still shocked at the number of people that believe this, is that you have to have 20% down uh, when, you're, when you're buying a home. You do not have to have a 20% down payment in most situations. Now, obviously there's some situations depending on the type of home, depending on the product, if it's an investment property or if you'll be living there, it's a little different. The requirements are different. But if you're just buying the house you wanna live in, you do not need 20% down most of the time. Again, talk to your mortgage professional. A lot of folks, three, 5% down, sometimes even less. And uh, that helps you put a lot more money back in your pocket and especially for a first time home buyer, I recommend that. You wanna keep as much money in your pocket so that you're prepared for those hidden expenses. You, you don't wanna get caught you know, off guard um, when something breaks because something will break. The, the third thing, also critically important, I talked about the mortgage professional a couple times now. Uh, between your real estate agent, if you choose to go that route, um, and your mortgage uh, lender that you work with, your loan originator, two very critical people, they're in your corner, and uh, you gotta get pre-approved. Before you even start looking at homes, before you emotionally connect and commit to a home, before you say, I'm gonna go look at that house, that's the one, you have to get pre-approved. You want to know that you can actually afford to buy the home. Um, and, and you know, it, it's just putting yourself in the right place emotionally, and it's putting yourself in a position where you can act in a competitive market to make an offer right away. So go through the process. I know it's a little intimidating. Folks sometimes are afraid to be told no, or they're afraid to uncover, can I even qualify? Get the pre-approval, uh, have that certainty. It's the right thing to do for you, for the real estate agent, and uh, just, just for the process. Make the whole process easier yes. all the way around. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. absolutely. So with that kind of context, let's talk about the process specifically, and, and what does Rocket Mortgage do that makes the process so much easier for first-time home buyers? Some of the specific things that you guys are really proud of. Well, we're very proud of our commitment to the client um, and the needs of the client. We're very proud of our commitment to the real estate agent. And uh, you might be thinking, Katie, I'm the first time home buyer. Why do you keep talking about the real estate agent? Uh, if you're partnered with a real estate agent, this is, I mean, they're one of your best friends in this situation. They're going to be out there negotiating on your behalf. It's really important uh, that your lender is teamed up. We're part of a team. We're a team of the lender, the real estate agent, and our client all working together to buy, to, to get our client in this home. So, um, you know, we want to be there for you. We are available to you 24 seven based on different means of communication. Uh, that's, that's really important. When it's time to act, when it's time to put an offer on a home, you have to be able to respond with urgency. And we believe that responding with a sense of urgency, not just internally, but with our clients and our real estate agent partners as well. Another thing that we really focus on is the technology that we leverage to put our clients in a strong position. 
we believe in ease of process and of transparency. Um, you need to know where you stand inside of this, this process, start to finish. Uh, if you have questions, you need to be able to get them answered quickly. Same thing, again, for your real estate agent. And uh, we have technology processes that help support that. At any given time, pop up the Rocket Mortgage app and you can see exactly where you're at inside of the process as you work to get to close. And the last thing, I, I love this piece. Uh, we say, I believe it's from search to servicing, right? And it's, quite frankly, sometimes those moments in between as well. From the point where you start looking for a home or even thinking about the home, uh, we can help you find the perfect home. Uh, we can help you connect with a real estate agent. We can help you with the mortgage. When you close on your loan, the chances are you will be serviced by Rocket Mortgage. Um, so we can help you after you close as well. And then you have access to a wide variety of partnerships. Um, you know, you want to buy a car? We can help you. You need a personal loan? We can help you. Everything in between. All of life's moments. That's great. And I think it's wonderful, too, to see the service not stop after the deal is closed, right? right? You guys are around for that client afterwards in a long-term relationship. Yes, That's wonderful. Absolutely. Part of a family. It really is part of a family. Love that. Yeah. that. So the last thing we would look at here, it's been a crazy last year. Tumultuous last year, yes. a lot going on, right? Looking ahead, some of these tips and the process mm -hmm. that Rocket Mortgage does for first-time home buyers. Is there anything that comes to your mind that first-time home buyers can be doing right now to put themselves in a good position for a purchase three months, six months down the road? What are your thoughts on that? Well, um, let's go back to that pre-approval, right? When a first-time home buyer is getting pre-approved for a home, um, it's not just getting your credit pulled. It's not just having somebody ask you questions about the income. Uh, it's not just somebody asking you questions about how much money you have to put down. It's really important for a first-time home buyer or any home buyer uh, to have absolute certainty that they are going to get to the closing table. When you have that absolute certainty, you can turn around and you can deliver that certainty to the person who you are buying the house from. So we offer what's called a verified approval. This is really important in the process. It goes beyond just a normal, hey, I'm gonna take a look-see here. We are putting your information, uh, your income documentation, your asset documentation in front of the person who's going to make that final loan decision. Uh, we call these folks underwriters. We're doing that so we can turn around and say, hey, we have reviewed everything that we absolutely can at this point in the process, um, and we're committing that you can get to the closing table, obviously um, pending information about the property itself. But the, the point is you are taking control of the things that are inside of your control and ensuring certainty getting to the closing table. So the verified approval process, it's an absolute must gives you certainty, gives the seller certainty, and will put you ahead in a competitive market. Awesome. Okay. So obviously a very competitive market, like yes. you said, great to have all of these tips and this information. For any of these first time home buyers that want to get involved with you guys, what's the fastest way to get in touch with Rocket? You know, the absolute fastest way, I know this will not be a surprise to you, is go to rocketmortgage.com. Literally just type it, uh, mobile, web, you can find us anywhere, rocketmortgage.com. We are everywhere and we are here to serve you and our first time home buyers. Wonderful, amazing service, terrific things you guys are doing at Rocket Mortgage. Katie Barish, EVP of Purchase, thank you so much for being Wonderful. here. Wonderful, thank you.